Hey guys, Jessica here, the Bernie Family Coach. I had somebody comment today on my page. It is something that I hear so very often um, and I, I just wanted to address it with you guys because so many people are having trouble in one way, shape, or form with their dogs and training their dogs. So often I hear people say uh, that, you know, they've spent X amount of dollars, they've been through three, four trainers, they've all given up, um, you know, they've seen behaviorists, everybody quits, they say their dog is untrainable. I can't tell you at this point how many times I've had people say that to me and it is amazing to me that that even happens. So if you're having trouble training your dog, this video is for you. Or if you know someone who's having trouble with their dog, training their dog, um, invite them to watch this video because I really think that this is a shame. It really goes to show how many trainers there are out there who rely on tools and products and things that ultimately don't work and when they don't work they give up um, and this is not bashing any other trainer out there because in my circle and the and, you know in my world I know a lot of really amazing trainers that I am proud to call friends that I'm I look up to that I learn from so there really are a lot of great dog trainers out there but unfortunately there are also a lot of not so great dog trainers so if this is kind of pulling at your heartstrings or if this is ringing a bell for you this video is for you so if you're having trouble training your dog any you know even if you just know somebody invite them to watch this video please because I had somebody on Oh, really quickly before I get started, I do want to tell you, you can still grab a copy of my book, Seven Miracle Steps to Get Your Dog to Obey Commands, even if they've failed before. And that's kind of what we're talking about, right? Um, this idea of failing. Uh, you, I put a, a link in the description, wherever the description may be for you. I put a link in the description. You can grab a copy. You can get a digital copy. You can get a paperback copy now. Um, they weren't available for a long time, but I do have some now. So uh, they are limited but you can still get a paperback copy if you like. Use the link in the description, wherever that description may be. Get yourself a copy. Um, really quick read, you can read it in an afternoon and start implementing right away. Highly recommend it. Um, so if you're having trouble training your dog, maybe you have gone to trainers, maybe you have been through a behaviorist, maybe people have given up on you and your dog. I am sorry that that has happened. Um, what I want to say to you is don't give up. Don't give up on your dog because someone else did. Maybe you didn't pick the right trainer and that's okay. You learn from it and you move on. The one thing I want to say to anyone who feels like they can't train their dog or they've tried and it's not working and their dog is just too rambunctious or has too much reactivity or a trainer says that they can't be trained. I can't tell you how many times people have come to me and said, I've been through X number of trainers and they all say, give up, you know, your dog can't be trained. I am so sorry that has happened to you. Um, it's not the case. And what I wanna say to you is don't give up. But more importantly, when, when you don't give up and you continue to seek the advice of other trainers, do your research on how people train. Um, I, I, there's a post on my page and I can link to it, just let me know if you wanna see it, about the journey I went through on how I decided that I wanted to be a positive reinforcement trainer. I don't rely on choke collars or prong collars or electronic collars. I personally feel that not only do they not get you the results you want, in the long term, they damage the relationship between you and your dog. So if you have seen a trainer using any of these devices, turn the other way. Don't put your dog through that. But what I do wanna to say to you, after you do your research, you find somebody that you really relate with that you know can help you and your dog. The number one worst thing you can do 
is to set your dog up for failure. And what I mean by that is you're going into training thinking that your dog is gonna fail or you're gonna fail your dog. Whatever it is that's going on in your head, you're gonna see that action or behavior that you have been trying to train out of your dog, you're gonna see your dog continuing that action or behavior and you're, you're, you're failing before you ever begin. So get all of those thoughts out of your mind. Go in to a new training session, whether you grab my course, grab my book, grab my course, and start training on your own because that's what I do. I teach you to train your dog in your home. Um, whether you do that, whether you seek the help of a local trainer, um, don't go in with the expectation of failing because if you expect your dog to fail, if you expect to fail, then that's what's going to happen. You need to just completely take all of those thoughts out of your mind, go in with the knowledge, visualize your dog being calm, walking on a loose leash, whatever it is, not barking at the neighbor's dog, whatever it is that you're having an issue with your dog doing, visualize them not doing it and go in with the mindset that this is it, that this is going to be what changes in your relationship with your dog. This is going to be how you get your how you learn to get your dog to stop doing whatever it is you're not satisfied with that they are doing so that's what i really wanted to come on and say to you don't set your dog up for failure don't go in with the expectation that your dog is going to continue that behavior that action or behavior that you're not happy with go in knowing that your dog is going to be happy and calm and not barking and not jumping and not pulling on the leash go in knowing that that you are doing everything you can to help your dog to build a better relationship with your dog and your dog is no longer going to be doing those behaviors or actions that you don't want them to be doing because if you don't do that if you go in thinking this is just another one and let here we go again this isn't going to work just like the last three or four trainers didn't work don't do that you're setting your dog up for failure. So that's what I wanted to jump on and tell you guys today. I hope that resonated with you because I know so many people have messaged me and said, everyone has given up on my dog. Don't give up on your dog. Grab your copy of Seven Miracle Steps. I've got a glare on it, sorry guys. Oh, there you go. Oh, no glare. Seven Miracle Steps to get your dog to obey commands even if they failed before. I put a link in the description wherever you see the description. Go ahead great. Thank you so much for posting that link. I appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Guys, if you have any questions, please post them below. Even if you're not watching this live, if you're watching a replay, post your questions or comments below. I will get a notification and who knows, I might just do a video to answer your questions. So with that, thank you so much for being here and watching with me. I appreciate every single one of you watching and um, grab your copy of the book. I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.